are good, ladies and gentlemen. Pastel Jutsu here to do my live reaction to the chapter of One Piece, that being chapter 1019. And uh, we're getting close to 1020. That's a pretty good, big number. But uh, yeah, um, so yeah, last time, Jinbei basically put the beat down on who's who, but who's who put up a good fight. Uh, but uh, yeah, getting into this chapter. This time, we've Actually got quite a few extra goodies in before the chapter, uh, including Luffy on the cover of Shonen Jump here, looking uh, pretty, look like an astronaut, kind of. I guess he's like an astronaut. He's like saluting, uh, what is it, Adventure Toward the Future. He's got Monkey D. Luffy on his, like, name tag here. Uh, uh, we Are One is another sticker. Uh, oh, JAXA. Yeah, JAXA is, uh, like, Japan's NASA, I believe. I learned that from Dr. Stone. <laughs> but, yeah, they have Japan on his, uh, on his arm here. Uh, yeah, he's looking very cool. I never thought I'd see Luffy as, like, a, like, an astronaut. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so we've got, uh, so I guess this is, like, like a tie-in with, like, uh, JAXA, I guess, uh, it's very cool uh, Shonen Jump cover. And uh, I see something here with Luffy and uh, Waldo, of all people. And uh, I was wondering what that was, but I actually caught a glimpse of it uh, beforehand. And it is this <laughs> massive, where's Waldo, or should I say, where's Wano? Because it's like a big where's Waldo uh, tableau of, uh, oh my god, is that... I thought I saw Naruto. Okay, no, but, it, okay, it's like all the characters in Wano is like a Where's Waldo tableau. I've never seen anything like this in One Piece. I don't know if Oda drew this, or, or like, if this is official or what. Yeah, I guess he, yeah, Oda probably did draw this. Oh, uh, yeah, where is, on the side it says, Where's Wally, uh, One Piece. So, it's like, yeah, I forgot, only in America, <laughs> we call him Waldo. I think maybe in Canada, too, but, like, Everywhere else in the world calls him uh, Wally, but I just I grew up on him being called Waldo. But yeah, uh, so yeah, here's like you just see this everything. Get Wano's been crammed into this one thing. Uh, I don't know if I can find Waldo. Uh, it's so many. It's so many. You could spend hours pouring through this to find all the Easter eggs, probably. But I see. I see like uh, the robot that kid made. Uh, see, I see Kid. Uh, yeah, I don't really... I'm trying to look for... I see Shinobu and Momo. I don't know. If I, if I could find, if I could find, um, Waldo or Luffy, I'll maybe, ch hopefully try to, <laughs> I'll put it in, like, in editing it or whatever. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna get into the chapter, because I can look at this for, like, forever. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. But, uh, oh yeah, one more thing. We have a incredibly gorgeous, uh, and sexy, uh, cover page here with the Straw Hats, including Jinbei. Uh, just, like, chilling on the, on those, uh, whale sharks that Jinbei summoned to, to help rescue them when they're escaping Impo down. It's just a really happy, beautiful, uh, just picture here of, uh, they're just the straw hats riding these whale sharks through the through the waves. And it's just really beautiful, and, and of course, uh, Nami and Robin are front and center, and they're uh, looking very wet in their swimsuits. But um, yeah, it's just really beautiful, uh, really beautifully done cover page as usual from Oda. You just see the straw hats. Just oh, <laughs> Frankie's hair looks like one of the whale sharks too. I like that, and uh, just see Usopp and, and Luffy just like going yeah. And Brooks playing a uh, song for everybody. <laughs> oh boy, Sanji's on his way to Robin and Nami with the, with the hard eyes. And uh, Zoro's just chilling, eating some food. Chopper's uh, chilling with Nami. And Jim, oh yeah, and Usopp and Luffy are on Jimbei's back. And Jimbei's just like, uh, like going, yeah. So yeah, really, uh, really beautiful cover page. Uh, Commemorating 24 years of serialization and One Piece Day. Okay, I wonder when that is exactly, but uh, I should know that as a One Piece fan. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 24 years, man. <laughs> oh boy, it's, yeah, it's getting uh, <laughs> we're all getting up there in years. <laughs> but yeah, One Piece 
is still charging stronger than ever. But anyway, finally, let's get into the chapter itself, titled, uh, Triceracopter. That's a hell of a title. Triceracopter. So that makes me, obviously, that makes me think of Sasaki and Frankie. Um, so I guess maybe we'll highlight their fight in this chapter, which would be very cool to see. But, uh... The first thing we see is a hybrid queen about to shoot a laser at, uh, at Sanji, presumably, in the castle interior life floor. Uh, a shower of beams. He just, beep, 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 take this! And Sanji says, a constant barrage of beams? That sounds like uh, a technique Frankie would love to get his hands on. Yes, it does sound like a Frankie technique. Uh, you just see a big laser explosion, like, boom, like, uh, hey, that won't work, ah, sorry, uh, so we just, we, you see, we cut to Dr. Miyagi still working on Zoro, who's still bandaged up in, like, the crucifix, uh, there are so many layers of bandages, uh, take them off before you give me that damn shot, uh, so yeah, they're gonna give Zoro the miracle medication, uh, oh, well, let's, uh, not get hung up on the details. Zoro's like, are you sure you know what you're doing? Hey! Uh, so, you talk to Miyagi, exactly like a, like a quack doctor right now. But, uh, oh, we cut to the polar tang and the, the ukiyo waves. Uh, the Wano Sea polar tang. Hang in there! Don't die on a straw hat! Damn it, if only the captain were here. I'm not sure if basic first aid is enough. Uh, he has already he's already coughed up a ton of water, right? Straw hat, open your eyes. You can just see the hard pirates surrounding Luffy, who's still unconscious. Um, uh, should we pour some medicine down his throat? No, uh, we should give him an injection. His face is pale. Uh, what do we do? And Luffy's just starting to cough. <laughs> oh God. Of course, there's only one medication that Luffy needs. Meat! <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> so, yeah, of course Luffy needs some meat. He'll be right as rain. Just give him some ribs and some fried chicken and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so we cut to the uh, Onigashima Skull Dome, right brain tower. Oh, we see uh, some headliners cutting through some beast pirates. Uh, wow, wait! Why are the headliners attacking us? We see, like, one of them is, like, uh, that Kabuto Beetle-looking dude with, like, the saw-bladed katanas. He's just cutting through dudes. Uh, and he says, uh, Iron Bro, focus on Sasaki and leave these guys to us. Gah -ha -ha. Uh, are you guys helping me? I thought you were his lackeys. So we just see Frankie still in the, in the, uh, the general Frankie. Sasaki says, uh, I don't care if the entire armor unit is being controlled. Uh, this is still treason. And Sasaki's in his full triceratops form. And so Frankie says, uh, you really are a tough bastard. I must have dealt you countless fatal blows already. And Sasaki goes, uh, you're pretty tough yourself. And that's a real pain in the ass. Uh-oh. We're, we're getting hyperforms in every chapter now, man. This is what I'm talking about. We're getting Sasaki's hyperform now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's uh, very beefy Triceratops man. He, he, he's definitely a, a mix between his human form and his, and his uh, Triceratops form. Because he's got like his long hair back. He's, he's got his hat. Uh, he's got his, his like his... His beer gut buffness. Um, oh, he's pulled out a sword that he was about to pull out like a long time ago, like like a, a whole bunch of chapters ago. He was about to pull out his sword, and it had like that weird, like razor look to it. And like Yamato was like him and Yamato were about to fight, but then they got interrupted. So now he's got he's got it out. Uh, it's like the, this weird like striped sword. 
Uh, he's still got, he's got a, a pretty, he's got a pretty big uh, V scar on his belly from Frankie when Frankie hit him with like the victory slash or whatever. Uh, he said, and so Tosaki says, uh, seems like we've been betrayed on this live floor as well. I'm going to head there and skewer all those unloyal cockroaches. Now get out of my way. Karakuri? Oh, I should have worn my Katakuri shirt. Um, he goes, Karakuri. Karakuri, I know what that means, but I can't remember right now. Um, but yeah, he goes, but the blades, the little razor blades on his sword are like turning forward? Oh, shit. Helix sword. It's like a, I think it's like a drill? I think it's kind of like a drill razor blades stick out and start spinning uh again with that sword uh you ain't going nowhere uh well i've got no well i got no clue why those punks joined us i'm not complaining if it means i uh have a few more friends you <laughs> just see the the gifters the headlines like woohoo we got your back iron bro uh and frankie goes i'm good uh, go and help the others. And Sasuke goes, <laughs> uh, I'm glad they won't be getting between us. But don't make me laugh. Either way, I've got to handle this situation on my own. And <laughs> now, the title of the chapter makes a whole lot more sense. But then, again, it doesn't make any sense because... <laughs> The Triceratops, like, like frill thingies, I don't know what you call those, but, you know, the Triceratops has, like, the, the frills, kind of, like, the horns. His are, like, starting to spin, kind of like his sword is spinning. So spinning is a, is a big thing with Sasaki's, like, true fighting style that I did not see coming. But, okay, so he's turning into a Triceracopter. <laughs> he's like, huh? How the hell are you spinning? And this is not Frankie's first time fighting uh, someone with spinning abilities in the in the new world. He fought, he fought against Buffalo and Punk Hazard. But, uh, and a lot like Buffalo, uh, <laughs> Sasaki is floating in the air through by being like propelled by his like spinning uh, body part. <laughs> Frankie goes, whoa! I didn't know dinosaurs could do that. I don't think they can, Frankie. I don't know what the fuck this is. But okay, I'm rolling with it. Then one of the gifters goes, uh, That move! This is bad! Run, Iron Bro! And Sasuke just goes, Morons. If you have time to worry, then you should worry about yourselves. So yeah, he looks a little uh, silly right now, but uh, with the sp spinning sword and the spinning neck frills i'm getting a real menacing aura coming off of uh what sasaki is doing here uh spinning that's a good trick but uh anyway let's see what he's got triceracopter he just he's just a whirling like dervish of death as he's just going straight for the gifters and just like yeah it's like a like a flying saw blade of, with his his spinning like frill and his like spinning sword. It's kind of like a what Kaido did a little while ago uh, with his dragon form. He did the dragon twister. That's I'm getting those vibes right here from this attack. But it's just like yeah, just like cutting through these like uh oh oh my god and one of one of the. The female gift is with like these big crab claws coming out of her uh, her her waist or something. One of the claws just gets like meow, just severed, just cut off, and uh, one of the swords of the Kabuto guy just gets snapped in half, and just like just cutting through, just cutting through these strong gifters like butter. And Frankie goes, guys, and just. He just cuts through them like nothing. They're just collapsing. Oh! And so, yeah, Sasuke's pretty damn deadly in this mode. I did not see this coming, though. <laughs> like, this this is the last 
type of fighting style I would expect from Sasuke. This is this is pretty out there, even for One Piece. Like this shit, this I a tri I never thought a Triceratops is like like neck guard thing could spin like a propeller and like with a spinning sword. Like even for Oda, like he's he like that's out there. But I I I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So yeah, Sasuke's just floating over everybody menacingly. It just comes in for another attack. It just always oh, attacking Frankie. Frankie's got his katana out. It's just cutting through. Well, not cutting through, but like it's clashing. Frankie just barely deflects him to the side, and just like Sasuke just cuts through like a whole section of the room. Like, yeah. uh, Frankie goes, uh, "You move real weird." <laughs> yeah, he does. And if Frankie says you're weird. You know you're weird, but I agree. I agree with Frankie. Uh, I didn't think this would turn into an aerial battle. And Sasuke just like, kind of gets up. The Triceratops are a pretty special breed of dinosaur. <laughs> hey, I guess so in the One Piece world. Uh, and Frankie goes, uh, go figure. Uh, those damn propellers are boosting your speed a hell of a lot. He just how Frankie's huffing. He's got, he's, Frankie looks badass, man, in the, in the Frankie show game with his katana just, like, stanced up. Like, I've never seen Frankie get this serious in the New World. Um, but yeah, it's just, he, uh, he just, Sasuke starts up his propeller again. It's like, gets crouching, ready for an attack, kind of like who's who when he's fighting against Jinbei. Like, he also had, like, a crouching moment. Um, Frankie goes, uh. You trying to rush me down? Do your worst. He just guard. He puts his guard up. General Shield. Oh yeah, he's got the little the shield that he, we've seen before. Uh, and like you just see like a gust of like smoke and wind coming from Sasuke, coming straight at Frankie. And Sasuke goes ah. Uh, and Frankie goes what? Or Frankie's thinking to himself what? He spun his propeller the wrong way. Wait, did he? Oh, maybe maybe he started spinning it in the opposite direction than he was before. So yeah, he does that, and then like this like slash comes towards Frankie, but like it doesn't seem like anything happens. And Frankie, yeah, Frankie says, "Oh, he, sp he spun his propeller the wrong way and launched himself backwards." Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Sorry, it wasn't. It wasn't a. It wasn't smoke coming towards Frankie. It was Sasuke going backwards. Um, so yeah, and Sasuke goes. Now this is enough of a run up. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so Sasuke just needed some space to really charge at Frankie like a Triceratops. Uh, Frankie goes. Uh, no way, that was on purpose. Sasuke goes. Can it? I just wanted more space to gain momentum. He's just blasting towards Frankie with his propeller spinning like crazy. Try Sarah Bullet! Boom! Just crashes into Frankie. Frankie guards. Uh, it's just like they're just like in each other's face. Like, ugh. Frankie goes, not good. My shoulder launcher's gonna misfire. Boom! That's exactly what happens. <laughs> it misfires. It just, Sasuke's just tackling Frankie. Frankie goes, son of a... Oh! I think Frankie's going for a Frankie suplex. He, I think he grabs Sasuke. He just goes, ah! Sasuke's like, oh! Huh? General suplex! Holy shit. It just pins Sasuke head first right to the ground. That's awesome. Oh my god, this fights. Oh my god, these fucking Onigashima fights with the Toby Ropo. This is what I've been waiting for, man. From Jinbei and Who's Who. Now we're getting this. I can't wait to get Robin and Black Rib. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, that was badass.
Uh, Frankie goes, I don't care how thick your hide is. Your belly's bound to be a weak spot. So yeah, so Sasuke's stick, his head is stuck in the ground. His feet are up. His belly's exposed. Uh, Frankie goes, it's over. Frankensword. Victory V Slash. So or Victory V Flash. So he's doing that again. It's like a, it's like a, it really is like a Zoro attack. Like he's like sending this like V Slash. Like, like it's like an air slashing thing. Uh, Sasuke goes, damn it. And I think he gets himself out of the ground. He's like in the air already. Uh, and he lands. He goes, come on. Oh, no, it's Frankie. He goes, come on. If only I was better with swords. Oh. Oh, shit. Sasuke's sword is better than Frankie's because he just cuts <laughs> Frankie's blade in half. There's a lot of blades been cut in half in this battle, which is, it makes sense. Uh, not just this battle, but the whole Onigashima war. <laughs> um, Frankie's just running. Seriously? He's shattered by Frankie's sword. And Sasuke just slashing at him some more. Uh, Frankie goes, if it's going to be like that, he puts his arms together to, into that connective uh, rod thing. Uh, I'll just put all my money on the strongest attack uh, for a one-shot comeback. Uh, Sasuke goes, aren't you ashamed of running away mid-fight? Frankie's like, whoa, it's because he's still, Sasuke's still slashing at him. No good. I can't let this guy through. He's already chased me all the way back to the live floor. Oh, so this, okay. Wow, as if there wasn't enough going on already in the live floor. Now Frankie and Sasuke are headed there. Uh, so Sasuke, go, Sasuke goes for another Tricera bullet. Lies at Frankie. Frankie turns around and goes, now! Gao Cannon Encore! So he's, got, he's about to blast him with the Gao Cannon. General Cannon! Massive explosion, massive shockwave. I think he hit Sasuke dead on too. So if Sasuke gets back up after this, Frankie cannot. That means Frankie cannot handle him by himself. And uh, my my prediction uh, I've had uh, ever since the 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 night where Scarabs got back up was that uh, Denjiro and Frankie would team up and, and fight Sasuke since Sasuke and Denjiro have like like this friendship. Um, like before, like like when he was Kyoshiro. Uh so yeah, that'd be cool to see them team up. Cause I, I don't know, I don't know if Frankie can handle Sasuke by himself. Like he just, but well, I don't know, maybe he can. <laughs> oh wow. Oh yeah, no, okay. So yeah, for a second, it looked like Sasuke took the blast pretty hard. Like he looked like he was unconscious for a second. He's like coughing up blood. He's like, ah. And then Frankie's just like, yeah. And Sasuke goes. Ugh. <laughs> like, he, like he just like he's he looks more pissed off than anything, and Frankie's like what? And Sasuke goes, Ugh. everyone fears the beast pirates because of the Flag Six. Don't underestimate us. Oh yeah, I guess it, yeah I forgot they're called the Flag Six, so I guess it's appropriate that uh, one of them could fly. So I guess it's Sasuke. Oh, I guess uh, Husu could fly too because of Gepo. Uh, and Ulti is very good at jumping too. But uh, anyway. Um, okay, so we got a double page here coming up. Um, Sasuke goes, I'm taking you down with me. Tricera Magnum. Uh, Frankie's just like, like, oh, he's kind of calming his pants down. <laughs> and he just, Sasuke just, like a comet, Sasuke just lands, like crashes down. Takes it real hard. He says, "Eject." He's ejecting from the from the Frankie Shogun. Uh, he ejects. He goes, uh, "It's time." And the Frankie Shogun's just getting just impaled by Sasuke. Wait, what's going on, Frank? And so Sasuke's like, "Huh?" It's almost like Sasuke fell into Frankie's trap here. Uh, and, oh man! Oh, Frankie hits him right in the belly. With the radical beam. Okay. 
That's a pretty good hit. That Frankie do to aim for the belly. He's just trying to get him like in a get him in that exposed spot. Uh, I think he still might not be done at this. Look at all the punishment Ulti took. Like I don't know, man. The flying six are tough, but he might. This might be it. Uh, but yeah, he took the <laughs> Sasuke got hit pretty hard by that one. He just falls, and Frankie's just like looking badass. Oh, he doesn't even say anything. We cut away to the Skull Dome rooftop. Wow, we're gonna get some Kaido versus Yamato in here. Holy shit. I didn't I would think we were going to cut to that by in this chapter. Um, Yo, Becca, uh, for a worthy addition to our military strength. We just see hockey lightning just like crashing as they clash with each other. Yamato. Whoa, no, 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 no. Is that any way for a father... Oh, so Yamato goes, Is that any way for a father to talk to his child? He just kind of just like clubbing Yamato. I would do a, a lot to get that. Oh, uh, sorry. I was, uh. I don't know. I assume this is Kaido saying this. Uh, I went through a lot to get uh, that devil fruit. Did you really think I'd just let you use its power freely? Oh, wow. Okay. Are we. So Yamato does have a devil fruit power. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Are we about to get Yamato's Devil Fruit in this chapter? Okay. Uh, I said before that I wanted one of the Tobi Ropo to have the T-Rex Devil Fruit. I actually really wanted Black Maria to have it. I even drew a picture of that, of what that would be like. Uh, but, of course, she's uh, the giant ancient spider. Uh, but if Yamato has the T-Rex fruit, because somebody's got to have it. It's the most popular dinosaur ever. Someone in this series has to have the T-Rex Angel's all fruit. And if it was Yamato, I feel like that would be sick as hell. But a lot of people say Yamato would have, like, the, the mythical white tiger fruit. Uh, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know if the white tiger would make for a mythical... Like, I know the legend of, you know, Biako or whatever. But, I don't know. I feel like a white tiger might not fit with the mythical Zoan archetype uh but maybe we're gonna, <laughs> we might find out in this chapter uh-oh okay <laughs> well i think i might be uh might have been wrong about what i just said because it looks like <laughs> yamato's taking on some like very mammalian beast-like fe features um so i think i might be out of luck with the t-rex fruit uh but <laughs> Yamato says, I only ate it because I was hungry. It was a real shock. I, all I wanted was to set sail, and now I, I can't even swim. I've tried to kill you countless times now, and you always knock me down, but that's what made me strong. Your shackles weren't the only th uh, thing keeping me uh, keeping me here. You just see, you see like this steam coming off of Yamato, like this like, kind of like this Gear 4, like cloak, not cloak, but like this like, the smoky, like, uh, the rings of smoke around Kaido, uh, Kaido, over on Yamato's shoulders. Uh, and she, uh, Yamato seems to be in some kind of high performance. That's really, it's not really looking like a tiger, though. It's definitely looking like a mythical Zod fruit, but I, that, I don't see any stripes. Like, I don't think it's a tiger. Uh, but Yamato says, if I abandon this country, how can I call myself Odin? Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know what this, this, this looks more like a fox. Like, I think, wait. That's definitely not a tiger, it's definitely not a T-Rex, but... Yamato's looking pretty sexy in this form, but uh, she's, I mean, um, he, he's got like these long pointy ears, I'll, he almost looks like a deer, almost, I don't know, like the, I guess it's because his horns are throwing me off, but, I don't know, it looks like a very uh, feminine looking beast, almost looks like a deer to me, but I think it's a fox, like a, like a mythical kitsune, but, uh, oh, this is the end of the chapter, by the way.
Uh, we got some cool fan art, though. But, um, but yeah, it's... Yamato's form is... It definitely give, it's giving me Kitsune vibes, but we already know that uh, Katarina Devon in the Blackbeard Pirates, she ate the uh, the the Nine Tail Fox mythical on, so that seems like they'll be those would be very close, like like those are almost the same thing. I guess they're technically not, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird if, if there's a Kitsune mythical for and a Nine Tail Fox one. It's like I feel like like going by the myth, I think. Katarina and Davon's fruit would be superior to to the Kitsune fruit, but I don't know. It definitely doesn't look like a tiger, though. Like I feel like a lot of people are gonna say it's a tiger, but I it's not. I, I don't think that's a tiger. But yeah, that was a pretty badass chapter. <laughs> Holy shit! So yeah, Yamato does have a devil fruit. Um, seems to be a mythical one. Looks like a Kitsune one to me. I would have preferred the T Rex, but that's cool too. Um, has Frankie defeated Sasaki? Uh, I don't know, but it was a pretty badass fight either way. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, that was a badass chapter. <laughs> so, yeah, like the video, comment, subscribe, and it's probably still Jutsu spinning out. Triceracopter! Yeah.